Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, man, I want to show you a little bit about what kind of equipment you'll deal with on a daily basis as a radiology tech. And of course, I'm going to show you all the equipment, but I'm going to just try to have like little clips of different equipment that we use. So in this room is a, this is a standardized x-ray room. This one, for some reason, they didn't put a table. Usually like around this area right here, you'll have a little table so you can do like, um, you'll have a table so you can do like abdomens, uh, T-spines, L-spines, you know, things like that. If the patient can't walk. If the patient can walk, then we can do everything standing up with um, this thing. So this is my extra machine. And the rooms aren't even that big. You know, they're small. There's all the lead, of course, that you have to, you know, wear because it gets heavy and it protects you from radiation. Um, but this is a fairly new room. You have your normal stuff, you know. Um, this is a control area. As you can see, it's not too big. It's a little control area. So here is where you set all your techniques, whether you're going to do um, a chest. It, it shows you everything, man. Are you going to do ribs? Or are you going to do, like, a plain chest? You click on plain chest, and it even tells you you're going to do a lateral, which is sideways. So it teaches you a lot of things. It, not to say it teaches you right, but it does a lot of things for you. So yes, you have to learn physics, of course, uh, for radiology school, not because you're gonna use it on a field because we get way too busy to use that on the field, but you need it to pass the board, you know, because ART, they wanna know, does he know his physics? Does he know if, if for some reason the AEC, which is the automatic control um, exposures and working, do you know how to set our own technique? Cause you can't set the same technique for an abdomen, which is thicker, to a hand, you know, you're gonna over radiate the patient, or you're not gonna get a, get enough um, mass to penetrate the body part. So that's why you know you have to know physics for the registry test. Um, so yeah, so this is a little glimpse. Yo, what's up, guys? So in this video, I want to show you a little bit more of a portable and how it looks, and um, you know, just to give you a little kind of like tour if you never if you're new to the radiology field and you never saw a saw portable extra machine so this is what the portable machine looks like step back a little bit and make this smaller oh there we go so this is a portable machine which is kind of cool because you know you can do all your x-rays portable this right here this thing right here is the grid so this is what you use if you're doing like um uh, bigger patients like abdomens or anything that you have to have a, a lot of penetration and to get a clearer picture you want to use the grid um, and inside you'll see the cassette so this cassette right here actually pops out so that black thing is a cassette and usually um you take that out and you know you um so the things that you don't need a grid for is for like extremities, like hands, uh, your feet, knees, uh, things like that. You won't need the grid, so you take it out or you flip it over and, um, you know, you do that. So, so it's a pretty cool machine. Of course, I can't show you patient identification or patient information. So it tells you the time. Usually touch it as touch screen and it tells you what patients are, you know, you have to do, and you know, you pick it. Same thing as the, the video I showed you before, um, that you pick your technique and all that stuff. It does everything for you. And this is kind of cool too, because it has like a battery that, uh, so, so say you study, you're on the floor and you're doing x-rays and you get stuck and your battery runs out, you can easily switch it and continue with your job, man. So that's the cool thing about having a digital, um, portable machine you don't have to the batteries that the exposure button um, emergency stop button if you put every press that is going to shut down everything so this is actually a Canon portable and this is this is my favorite you know the Canon ones are the Canon ones and CareStream are the best ones but yeah man it's a portable 